Let's go on to the, uh, the European data this morning. OK. Well, as you rightly point out, um, Shanghai equity is off by around 8.5%. Um, just to put that into context, that's their worst fall since the 27th of Feb 2007. Um, and as I said, yeah, we've, we've probably covered that really from here. Um, then uh, back into Europe, um, and, and despite that negative news, um, there's actually uh, some positive uh, news for the German and Eurozone economies in as much as the German IFO business climate um, index and expectations index for July data was released. Um, business climate read came in at 108 versus a forecast of 107.2 and the prior read of 107.5, so uh, sharply ahead and, and unexpectedly so. Um, and I mean, then, that is a key, that's a key. I mean, if that's, if that's good, it's like almost everything else is good. Uh, well, that would, that's, that's the read that people are taking away from that. And the expectations going forward, um, 102.4 versus 108.1, Oh, sorry, 101.8 that was forecast and the prior read of 102.1. So ahead of the forecast and ahead of the prior read. I suppose the only question here is how much of, of that improvement is um, a relief rally on Greece uh, and will we still have uh, a similarly positive read in a month's time? But nonetheless, it's been, it's been taken as a positive uh, for Germany. Um, what wasn't such a... Uh, easy reading though was well, to my mind anyway was some uh, money supply data for the eurozone and here we're looking at m3 which is cash and near cash for financial institutions for want of a, a better description um, two figures here the month on month uh, number uh, for june uh, growth of 5.1 uh, percent slightly ahead of the prior five uh, percent read but nothing to get really excited about so qe not obviously um, influencing the money supply figures here and the year on year number will will presumably be uh, causing the gnomes in Frankfurt some concern as well uh, came in at 5% growth uh, against the prior 5% so no improvement on a year on year basis and that's obviously despite uh, at least four months now of uh, ECB QE and then uh, a number that will give cause for concern here in the UK uh, the CBI industrial trends survey and this is the, the number for July rather than the quarterly data. Um, this is a number that looks at sort of factory orders and, and business confidence going forward. Uh, a, a read of minus 10 versus the prior read of minus 7. Um, today's number is the lowest since July 13. And although the quarterly numbers, uh, well, I've tried to spin them to, to be positive, the very low factory orders in July, which is what is basically telling us and expectations of low numbers going forward, don't bode well for a sort of a continued solid rebound. For the UK. There goes economy. our interest rate hike. What is well, po well, I mean, you know, I don't think Mr. Carney rely entirely on this survey, but it just shows that there is, you know, there's, there's still contradictory forces at work in, in the UK economy as well. So there we are.